Good afternoon. We're here at the edge of a mature longleaf pine forest in the coastal plain of South Carolina. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the turkey oak, uh, Quercus flavus is its Latin name. This tree is a member of the Fagaceae family, which also includes beech trees and chestnuts. The turkey oak is considered a small oak tree. It grows 20 to 30 feet tall and it prefers uh, dry, sandy soils, and it's often seen growing in the understory of longleaf pine forests, uh, just as we see here. We'll take a closer look now. Um, approaching the bowl of the tree, we'll take a look at the bark. And as you can see here, the uh, bark of this tree is dark grayish brown with deep furrows and some scaly ridges. Coming back out, we'll take a look at the twigs and the leaves of this tree to help us um, with the identification. So as you can see here, the twigs have these uh, terminal buds on them that are reddish brown and uh, very pointed. The turkey oak got its common name from the shape of the leaf, which can resemble a turkey's foot. You'll notice they have uh, generally three to seven bristle-tipped lobes. You can see they're very, uh, the lobes are very pointed at the end with these little tips on them. And they can be uh, distinguished from the similar looking Quercus falcata or the southern red oak um, by the leaf base. You can see on the turkey oak here the base of the leaf is narrowly tapered uh, towards the stem, and uh, whereas on uh, Quercus falcata or the southern red oak, the leaf base will be a little bit wider and U-shaped, so that can help tell those apart. Otherwise, the leaves do look very similar. Um, another thing you'll notice on the turkey oak is uh, the acorns. The acorns can be quite large uh, for an oak. They grow up to um, around a, about an inch um, in size and uh, they take two years to mature uh, which is characteristic of the red oak varieties and um, they do contain a good amount of tannic acid which um, acts as a preservative but it also gives them a bitter taste making them a little bit less favorable for wildlife when uh, compared with say a white oak the Quercus alba. Uh, the acorns will mature and uh, drop to the ground in the fall of their second year and uh, the tannins will help to preserve them until the conditions are right for the seeds to lay roots. So that is Quercus lavis, the turkey oak. I hope you've learned a few identification points and you can go out and find a tree near you. Thanks. 